Ladies and gentlemen, I am facing a somewhat strange issue on this Asus laptop I acquired, which, though a somewhat older machine, is running Debian 12 just nicely. And the thing is that it wouldn't just start X over the daemon. And therefore, I create the brief script here gui.sh with the following content and that would actually launch x properly and start the window maker environment on it i am not sure what is the cause of it why when i generate the xorg.conf file and put it where it should be and then try to start x as described in every tutorial why that doesn't work but why such a very manual conundrum does work but let's put it this way it does operate properly so should you ever be stuck in such a situation that may be a way out Ta-da! so there we have gone graphical now only thing I didn't quite entirely handle is how to shut down things, but that's not actually that difficult. I just need to go to Control Alt F1 here, and here I can say sudo kill X, and then we are out of it again. And when I go to F2, there's just the login and no longer the X Windows environment. However, admittedly, the entire GUI thing is not even the focus point of this, as this machine really just serves for examining DAV files, DAV, which are surveillance camera videos. And that is entirely possible to do. You see, I have mounted here the SD card with VLC without X. If I now press Enter, then VLC will start up and show me whatever was recorded at the time. And very likely it was the movement of those clothes in the wind which triggered the recording in the first place. Well, that's about it. In order to examine recordings from a surveillance camera, you need nothing but Debian with VLC and even X then becomes entirely optional. To get out, I figured out that like keys don't really work, but Control C does get you out. So out we are here. And that's a cheap and easy solution of checking things. Thanks for watching today. Hope to greet you here soon again. I hope you like this episode. Until we meet again, have a wonderful time, see you and goodbye.